If you look closely, we have a new component here called Link. This component comes from React Router DOM, and as its name suggests, it acts as a link. For example, this Link component can route the user to the home page using the To property. Before you judge Link as being the same as an anchor tag, the difference between Link and an anchor tag is their speed. For example, if your user has slow internet and they click an anchor tag, it will be slow because the browser reloads the entire page. However, if it's a link component, the navigation will be instantaneous. After designing our not found page, let's return to the main page setup. Below, let's add another object where the path is defined as an asterisk and the element is set to the not found page component. This path effectively handles any URL that isn't explicitly defined in our create browser router setup, directing users to our custom not found page. For instance, if we navigate to a login page that isn't specified, we'll see the not found page we've designed, which helps us redirect back to the home page. You can practice using React Router by building small web app projects and implementing dynamic routes in them. We covered a lot of topics today, which is why we created a PDF version of this video. It's free, but we'd really appreciate it if you supported the channel. You can find the link in the description below. Also, this is just the first part of our React Router series. There's still so much more to discuss.